Hello and welcome to a special edition of NMB Takoyaki Party. This is a, a spoiler cast for the NMB 48 and uh, Yoshimoto Shinkigeki musical Greatest Na Shomen, um, which uh, they just wrapped up uh, their uh, you know, performances of the musical. Uh, I'm Matt, I'm joined by Jeff, and we both have seen the musical. Um, at the time of this uh, recording, I've only seen it once, Jeff has seen it three times yeah, right three times in osaka in osaka yeah i've seen it once in tokyo but i'm also gonna be seeing it again um after this recording um in tokyo and uh basically the idea of this uh little, like spoiler cast is uh, i watched it and like maybe i understood about half of it uh because like you know my japanese sucks so i can only get you know get so much um jeff uh, jeff's uh, japanese is much better so you probably understood the story completely perfectly <laughs> And I, I, I also speak Kansai Ben. Yeah, he also speaks Kansai Ben, yes. So, uh, you know, he could do a whole, like, you know, book report on this if you wanted to, you know. Five page, double space. <laughs> Single <Whatever>. space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll be going through the story of the musical, but, like, kind of just summarizing it, like, from my, my point of view. And then Jeff will be, like, kind of, like, correcting the part I don't get and, I guess, confirming the part I do get. Um, so this could be kind of a, a companion piece uh, for you if you uh, go and watch the musical. They're doing a live stream. Um, you can buy it on the Fanny website for 3,000 yen. Uh, depending on when this goes up, uh, it may still be on sale. I think the archive goes on for a while. Um, we don't know actually if they're selling DVDs or Blu-rays of this yet, but they, they might do that you know, sometime in the future. Think of uh, this as like tr- translator's notes. And then yeah, translators' notes meets like spark notes. We plan to do a full commentary on it next episode. Yeah, next episode of the uh, Takayaki Party. So with uh, Arda, we'll have a chance to have watched like the live stream. So you know, get his. And, and maybe view. you can drag Ryan. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe Ryan has has ended up going. He got like you know FOMO or something. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we're just kind of just jump into it. So yeah, just you know, full full disclosure. Yeah, you know, spoilers. If you have not watched the musical, don't watch, don't listen to this podcast yet. Um, if you don't want to be spoiled, alternatively, you could also listen to this podcast beforehand, so you have an idea of what to expect in the musical. And then when you go and watch the musical, you can you won't be completely lost. You do you. So yeah, kind of give like kind of a condensed version of the story in English. So yeah, let's kick things off. So like it kind of opens up in this weird. I think what you said before, it's like a spaceship. And they're traveling through like time and space or uh, some shit, right? I didn't I didn't interpret it as that. Oh. But they're dressed yeah. in like space looking uniforms and they're singing about the setting, which is a planet like that resembles Earth and then a country that resembles Osaka. Oh, but yeah. th- this was written in the like synopsis on the official website. Yeah. Okay, so like this is just like the over kind of like overture kind of summary thing. Yeah, right? if the whole cast is out there. At the mm-hmm. time. Um, yeah, so I guess you're just summarizing, I guess what like the setting, set, the setting up the whole story. But it's not really. Uh, I didn't get any of it, but then I, when I saw the explanation later, yeah. Uh, then it jumps to a part where they introduce, I guess, Shinkigeki and what they do. Mm-hmm. And then it introduces N and B and what they do. Yeah. And so Shigeki, if you don't know, they are like the comedy group, but they do improv comedy. Um, very famous, very popular in Osaka. And then uh, N and B forty, you know, their idol group. If you're listening Osaka. to this, I'm, I assume you know. <laughs> you know who N and B is, yeah. <laughs> um. And so I guess for this part, I guess like each show has different uh, songs. As Jeff told me about this beforehand. Yeah. Um, yeah so the Shinkigeki did a skit, like almost exactly a skit what you would see in the actual Shinkigeki. Yeah. And like then, at, like they're standing in front, of, in front of like a takoyaki stand, and then like you know, some crazy situation happens. A lot of the like all the jokes are the usual jokes from Shinkigeki that everyone knows, and that's that's yeah. the style of comedy they do. It's repeated gags, but. It, they put little, uh, they change it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and then in a B day, they basically do like a, like a mini live, whatever. 
And so I guess Jeff, you saw your show first, so you tell yeah. me what they did. So well, the three song, uh, three times I saw it was. So the second song is always Nagiichi. The first song yeah. changes every show. The ones I saw were, I think, Eureka. Um, the last one was Koito. The last show I saw was Koito Ai. Uh, and then the middle show. Uh, shoot, I actually can't remember. But if you if you watch the, doc, the YouTube behind the scenes stuff you notice that they pr- practice some NMB songs and that's, that's, that was for this part. Yeah. Yeah. And so for me, yeah, they did Koito Ai as their first song and then Nagaichi was the you know, second song. And yeah, then they have like a little like kind of like mini MC segment yeah. with that. Um, yeah. So that's, yeah, I guess different song for, per show. I guess so that's interesting. Yeah, I think the members would get really bored doing like, uh, or tired doing Koito Ai like twenty times over and over <laughs> again. Yeah, uh, they also do like another song. I guess later in the we'll jump, we'll yeah, jump yeah. over there. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if that's the same as well. Um, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, they introduce Shingeki, introduce NMB, what they are, and then it does like a kind of like a flash forward or jump to the present era. Where uh, Kawabata, he's like in a hospital bed, and uh, it was a Chihi and Kato, they're like nurses, mm-hmm. and, and then uh, they uh, uh, Kawabata wakes up. He's been like, been in a one year coma, mm-hmm. and uh, at, he apparently had a coma because he fell down the stairs at the top of the NMB theater. Yeah, uh, but he doesn't remember anything. Uh, he has amnesia, uh, and then Uka runs in, and Uka is actually his wife. And then, uh, I guess, Chihi, like, I guess is like, kind of like, like, talking shit to Batata, Batayan, he's like, uh, he's like, but the, yeah, he's talking shit to Batayan, and he's basically like, like, how did you end up with her, you know, or whatever. <laughs> or <something laughs> yeah. Like and then, because Batayan's like, an old guy, not, not exactly the, guy, the right? most handsome guy. So, yeah. I mean, they... They joke about this the whole time. Like his his face, he has a really round face, and yeah. like a running joke throughout the whole show is that like, oh, your your face is swollen. Oh no! <laughs> like, and then he says it was always like that. <laughs> uh, okay, I never. Okay, I never actually got so, that. Yeah, call 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 pom pom. Ah, okay, okay. Um, yeah. And anyway, then Uka is like, it kind of does like a. She's like, oh yeah, yeah. Let me explain how we met, and then does a flashback. And she, yeah, right. she says she used to be the manager for nmb and that's why they uh she worked with like shinkigeki sometimes yeah yeah so in the flashback yeah, she was the manager for nmb and then uh jumps to like nmb is rehearsing doing like practice or whatever they're all wearing like the the non-battle two jerseys um and for my performance they, were, they did they're practicing kitakawa kenji yeah it's that, the same same for you okay yeah, and I guess uh, you know Uka's like trying to give him like you know feedback. Like you guys need to smile more. You guys aren't doing it right or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then this one guy comes out. I forget his name. I I know Yoshida. His real name is uh, Ukawa. Yeah. Well, Ukawa, I mean, okay. all the characters generally have the same name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. so he he's out. he's the he's supposed to be the theater manager. So like. Kaneko in real life. Oh, okay, so Uka is just just a manager. The manager, yeah, like a member manager or whatever. Okay, okay, and then the guy in the black suit, he's like the Kaneko stand-in. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Yoshida, I guess, would be like Kenmotsu. He's like the company person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, I was trying to figure out because at some point, you know, the obviously like, roles change because of stuff in the story. Um, okay. And I, I guess like they, I, I guess bring in like oh this is one like the guest uh, comedy comedian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in, it's right? still part of the rehearsal, and then they say oh, oh like we invited a famous comedian today to help you practice comedy because we're NMB, yeah. right? Yeah. So I I saw um, what what I meshi like they're they're not as popular right now, so you might not know them. They've been on. Mm-hmm. If you're if you follow NMB for a while, you they've been on Manabu Kuno a few times. Mm. Uh, for that show, they did 
Um, the I, I, Ueo Sakubun, so like where each person, t uh, so you take the six characters of a name, and the names they used were like, um, they, they use the name of one of the other Shingi Gang members and they take each character. So like it, the, it was Tamayo san. So something, I forgot her last name, but something, something Tamayo. So you have to make a mm. sentence with those six characters, uh, describing her. Yeah. And then the second show I saw for, it was, uh, Mitorizu. This was the best one. So they played like verbal like rap charades so one person is picked out from a group from the members and uh looks at a sign with a word on it and then the other all the other nine members don't see it and have to guess what that one member is trying to describe and then the the person the mat that one member has to describe using rap <laughs> okay <laughs> That's so that okay. one was that one was the funniest to me okay. and the last one was a guy I don't know. I've never heard of him before, but he seemed famous and or popular because he. It, this was the last show in Osaka, and he he. Oh, I mean, he had really sweet. good stage presence, but he just kind of randomly rambled on. Like he he's a really good speaker, but it felt like it was way more about him rather than the interacting with the members. Like he made the members literally just do a limbo dance and like jump rope. <laughs> And then, and then what? he he did a tr like the magic trick where you pull the tablecloth off a table. Ah, uh, okay. It was really weird. Like whereas Mitorizu was like they so Moriyama rapped as an example, but then the rest of the time was all about like interacting with the members. It felt like an episode of Yugata and MB. Mm -hmm. So because they've worked with NMB members so long, the rapport was really good there. Mm -hmm. Where and then like the first day, what I was re was kind of awkward because <laughs> he was the what I meshi guy was so nervous you could see his hands shaking, like when he was holding mm -hmm. the paper, like the script. So it it the it really depended on how well the comedian knew the members. Uh, mine was I went to one Tokyo, so they had was it Su Suehiro Suehiro Garizu Garizu yeah. And it's like, uh, they're kind of like what, like, their shtick is like, like Rakugo, not really Rakugo, but like, like one guy's holding like a mini taiko drum, one guy has like yeah. a fan. Yeah. They're just like, I don't know, old Japanese style. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, their game, okay, so that's interesting, yeah, all the games are different, because they did like this game, I, I can't really explain it, but it's like, uh, they have like a, like a word, it was like all in kanji, but it's like, in a very like, weird convoluted way mm -hmm. of saying that word and the members have to guess what like actually what that word is oh it's so, like like the example is like is like kanji for like something like namba something namba kanji for 40 kanji for eight kanji for people and then the answer is nmb 48 oh so the kanji is read that way or like, like was yeah. it the actual namba kanji or that something that sounded like namba it was something like that sounded like namba it wasn't the actual namba kanji okay. and then yeah it was like you know the the yon kanji and then the uh -huh. ju kanji and okay. then hachi and like so i don't remember exactly all the like example answers this one I this was like the wor like... worst one for you to see it's all kanji <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's all kanji and then like i mean like like i'll post to you like what this one is i'm not sure actually if this is the right one um oh. in the chat the... um so i guess they saw this answer and the members had to guess what it was and so actually i think it's like they have one member each with like go up first each took turns oh. and like basically they had 10 members doing it and then uh first member one member will get like the first shot at it and then if they don't get it then everyone else can kind of jump in and try to guess it um so, like this one i think walk is walk upon's turn mm -hmm. and she thought it was like grab your magazine or whatever was what this because yeah, it says like big boobs basically <laughs> yeah yeah exactly right <laughs> she even like kind of like laughed at herself and was like I, i'm not sure what she say is but okay <laughs> She does that. Uh, but ended up the answer actually ended up being a uh, uh, milk boy. Oh, oh, I see. I get it. Yeah. Well, I got I got the milk part, and then when I say milk boy, I guess because like they like if the members were completely lost, like the 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 comedians would give them like hints, like oh yeah, this is a this is a, a gaining group, and Nagisa understood it, got it right away, of course. Um, there's like that. There's like another one. The answer was Ampaman. Mm. Uh, 
Number one was like the electrical parade, like the Disneyland electrical parade. Wow. So, but yeah, it was like for me, I didn't. I when they get to the answer, I'm like, oh, okay, I get it or whatever. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I could barely remember like any of like the whole prompts, but it is it, it, interesting. They actually did a good job. Like you know, even the, this comedian group, it seemed like they have they've worked with NMB before as well, like mm-hmm. on a radio show. Mm-hmm. Were on, they were the hosts of Saipi's show, right? And then right. Coconut briefly took that over, and then yeah, they've come. Yeah, I think they've done a few random other appearances with NMB. I think they might have been hosts for like the non-battle thing or something, like the the board game. One of them, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it, it, was, it was interesting. It was good. Yeah. Uh. But in, and after this whole thing, you know, they all disperse, whatever. Then I guess yeah, Uka and Batian, I guess meet, and I guess it's like where you find out, oh, they they've been dating or whatever. And no, so that first scene, right? They're still in practice, and then the the gaining practice finishes. Yeah, the comedians go away, and then the y- Yoshida, the um, I guess company president, president of NMB comes in and yeah. yells at the or yeah, <laughs> so he finds uh, out basically that they've been dating. No, 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 not yet. Oh, so actually, okay. at this point, so first, um, the Ukawa, the ma- theater manager, tells the members, okay. like, oh, the president is coming today, so you guys need to like be on proper Behave. behavior. And then they start yeah, singing yeah. and making fun of him. And yeah, then... The, the hee-hee joke yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then they... And he walks in and like, who are you calling a horse? And like, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then they all fall down. Yeah, those. Yeah. <laughs> And then like, oh wait, oh shit, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then so yeah, then the they, because he comes in and says, oh, I have, I want to talk to Uka one on one. Uh, and then mm-hmm. he sends the members and the manager away, and then he's like, he sings about like, oh, you know, you've been working really hard lately. I'm thinking about giving you a raise. And then like, how about? But I also want to date you. <laughs> oh yeah. And essentially, okay. yeah, she's like trying to say no, but then uh, Batayan stumbles in. <laughs> he's like, "Oh, hey, Yoshida, you were gonna talk about something," <laughs> and then, and then he says, "Yeah, uh, like, oh, there's like a, a farm animal contest <laughs> or like buck tooth contest outside. Like, you should go. There, it's like a hundred million yen prize." <laughs> <laughs> and then. Oh. And then Uka is like, "Wow, I've never heard of such a contest." And Batayan says, "Like, of course not. That was a th- that was a lie. I was trying to help you." And then she finds this hilarious, and then that's why she falls in love with him because he okay. makes her laugh. Yeah, and then uh, uh, yeah, and then, yeah. I guess yeah, Yoshida finds out about that or whatever, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. he decides to fire Uka because of the mm-hmm. the group has a love ban. Yeah. But I think mean, Uka is like, no, I quit. Yeah, you, you can't, can't fire me because I quit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, yeah. So Uka quits, and then yeah, Uka and Batian get married. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, because you know Shida is like you know butt hurt about <laughs> you know this part pretty much. Uh, so he and then the the theater manager conspire. Okay, this is where and these people people get kind of confused. Mm-hmm. It's like they conspire with like. The health department, like the government health department. Yeah, so the and guy, prime minister, uh, Ima Beppu, the first guy. See the older. Yeah, the guy older guy the... with like the droopy cheeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Kojirin is his is his secretary. Okay, yeah. So he's the minister of like virus control or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so like, they kind of like, come up with this idea to create the Ahona virus, yeah. which which spreads through laughter and smiling. Yeah. yeah. And, so uh, yeah, that's like the major spoiler. Like, if you care about like a, a spoiler points in this kind of dumb story, <laughs> to be honest, you're already you're already too far. Like a Ahon- yeah. Ahona virus is was not actually a vi- a real virus. It was just a yeah. rumor created by the virus uh minister health department wherever yeah yeah virus yeah, uh, yeah health minister and then who's the guy in the red suit he's is the, he the prime minister prime minister okay yeah. so he helps like basically like, quote unquote like validate 
the uh the rumor so okay what happened first was okay i remember now so i i always kind of get this part uh mixed up because there's multiple scenes of all the ministers coming in Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um so the first time they show up is uh the prime minister the guy in red suit nishikawa he wants to buy so he comes with a plan because it's supposedly they say like oh the economy has been recovering but it's the mood of the country is still not great so the government wants to pay for tickets for comedy shows and give them out for free to people to make people happy so that's when the prime minister comes with like he comes with the virus minister for some reason um to shingigeki saying oh we want to buy tickets for you yeah basically that all right and then that makes yushida angry yeah jealous because yeah jealous right over yeah he take away his business take away his uh his girl yeah and this so is, then he this like, short a short spider. short fat old guy <laughs> yeah yeah so and then, and, and then yeah so there's, a, there's a point where um the virus minister was saying like oh why why are you buying like why are you supporting the comedy industry i think this is stupid and like that's kind of foreshadowing of like why he and yoshida team up to like uh support nmb rather than to to start this whole ahonavirus rumor to like bring down shingigeki and then support nmb instead yeah, the order is a little it's a little out of order here, but that's it, it like I guess like if you talk about the just the those minister scenes together, it, it ties comes together and makes Yeah, more the minister sense. Yeah, all the minister scenes got really confusing <laughs> at that point. But yeah, you know, weird like you know, government corruption shenanigans yeah. are happening. And uh Batayan, he's like he he's like somehow like approaching like the office or whatever and he overhears like the meeting. Yeah, or like they're like they're like they're like kind of conversation of them like oh we're gonna make up this like Ohano virus. Mm-hmm. Uh so he listens in on it once after and after like he hears the whole story, then he comes out and like confronts them. Mm-hmm. And he's like, hey, you guys can't be doing this or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And then I guess he like I guess he tried grabbing like the paper or mm-hmm. whatever the document or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then in the struggle uh, with uh, Yoshida, he like gets basically gets pushed down. The stairs to NMB. <laughs> the NMB theater. theater. Which, yeah, why they're having a meeting like, <laughs> on top of the, above the stairs. I mean, he, I mean, yeah, it's, it's wide and open. Like, if you've ever been there, you know there's tons of people passing by all the time. There's a Don Quixote right there, too. And, right? I mean, Shinki Geki is across the street. So it's not like yeah. you're safe from them, either. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just pretty dumb, yeah. <laughs> like that, that, it's dumb and plot, funny, dumb, Plot right? device. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Then and that's how uh, Batian like falls down the stairs yeah. and goes into his coma. Yeah. Actually, this part was a flashback as well because yeah, slightly before like two or this, three flashbacks. Yeah. So a lot of this part, this whole first half is all told in flashbacks, basically in the hospital. And mm-hmm. the and the running joke is that like, um, whenever so like first the first part was, oh, the, Chihi asked, oh, why did you marry? Uka, why did you marry Batayan? And then that's a flashback, and it's a super long. And then like the doctor Suchi gets super bored and falls asleep. Mm-hmm. And they have this when he wakes up. That he and Kato and she have this running gag, where they like, oh, I fell asleep. Like, I how far did you listen? Well, well, what I heard was, and then they make up all these crazy uh. <laughs> jokes. It's different every single day, every single show. Uh, uh, most okay. of this is ad libbed. Okay. Um, so that's why everyone has been like praising Chihi and Kato and Suchi on on Twitter. So they they make up insane jokes. Like what I heard was that like I remember the first show I went to was like, uh oh like they the family visited their grandfather in the hospital and he was dying. But then like he he was about to say his last words, so grandma leaned in and said then listen and but then like when he opened his mouth a hippopotamus came out of his mouth 
<laughs> and then Chihi's like, no, what I heard was that like he opened his mouth and then the grandma came out of his mouth. Uh, it's like insane jokes like this. Okay, yeah. So I think at that part I didn't ca- pick up on any of that, so yeah. it's just really quite good to hear it's just re- all it's before. just all nonsensical. Like the last Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last Osaka show they they said like oh like I Oh, the the story was uh, like, oh, I was at home and I was going to eat a snack late at night and I opened the um, microwave. and But then like, o- and Oji-san was inside. So then like we took him <laughs> out and then like he was nice and warm because he had been heated in the microwave. So we <laughs> s- s- cut him over with a knife and cheese oozed out. And then <laughs> this is a, del- a delicious new dish called the cheese in Oji-san. <laughs> okay yeah, it's like completely nonsense yeah but like they all like say this with a straight face or try to yeah 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 okay I, I think the one part I caught is like because like uh, you know they'd fall asleep or whatever and then like Batayan and Uka would be gone yeah I was like oh yeah they, they wouldn't use the bathroom yes. or whatever mm-hmm. and like I guess apparently actually he ended up using the, the women's restroom oh yeah they they make they change that up every day too like one one part was like i think the original line is like oh why is uka taking so long in the bathroom like she oh you know she is the type of person to take off all her clothes when she goes to the bathroom (laughs) (laughs) and she runs back on stage like putting on her her cardigan (laughs) oh yeah 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 um yeah but then like yeah the the, how they got to explaining the backstory of all the minister deals and stuff was uh like oh they said like oh uka my life must have been really tough with you for you right because uh comedy shows have been banned and then batayan is like wait what comedy is banned what are you talking about and then so because this ahona virus thing came out in the year when he was in a coma so he didn't know so then uka mm-hmm. goes on another story like tells another story of, Wait, so, of like that one year gap yeah exactly yeah like, okay and then that's i Between think how like the news spread i think that's no he still doesn't remember that he yeah he doesn't remember the situation yeah yet. that's he so, fell yeah. down he... the stairs but some some yeah. in the flashback that's portrayed <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was really funny. I actually laughed at that, and actually, like the person next to me, like looked at me like weird, like what the fuck? <laughs> when he fell down the stairs. Yeah, because well, it does like the whole like the wah. Yeah, wah, yeah, they, wah, it's like, like it's so dramatized. It's yeah, like this yeah. is supposed to be funny. Like, I guess the other person next to you is like super like. No, this is a real like drama. My grandfather died falling down some oh, stairs. Geez, you know, I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, when yeah, when Batian finds out like, hey, you know, comedy's been banned, he's like, Well, I'm gonna, you know, mm-hmm. solve this problem, right? Yeah. And then that's when like the first half ends. Yeah, he's gonna Yeah, and then like all there's no more hospital scenes after that. Yeah, yeah. Which sucked for me, but <laughs> there's no more no more cheeky <laughs> until the end. There's that, yeah. And it also gets a if you were like uh like a Kojin fan, like she doesn't show up for like the yeah. first like, ninety minutes yeah, after the the overture thing yeah actually that's true yeah i remember thinking like okay there's 10 nmb members uh who are playing nmb members and then there's keito chihi and then uka so that's 13 where's the 14th like and then when kojin came on like oh okay (laughs) i remember now yeah yeah so yeah so that's like the first half of the show is that then i do an intermission Mm -hmm. um and then the back half starts and so yeah, I guess like so Shingeki is like that they're, they're like kind of like you know down or love like the set is all like you know deconstructed or whatever and they're like trying to like do other jobs and it was a uh, Mamori <laughs> Mamori M- Moromi I, I guess yeah M- Moromi yeah uh, I guess he got fired from Lawson because yeah. uh, of his like speech impediment <laughs> and the joke he, he says Lawson Lawson welcome to Lawson oh uh, they, you know, they didn't yeah. he didn't put, he didn't say Lawson in uh in your my show? shows yeah that was a little ad lib i oh. guess but the, yeah, yeah the same the joke is the same like oh the, people can't understand me and then, <laughs> and then Batayan is like that has nothing to do with the virus 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so, like they're kind of like talking. So yeah, like Batina's trying to get the group back together. And then I guess they hear that like uh, NMB is still doing shows mm-hmm. despite this. Um, and then yeah, it cuts to NMB doing a, a theater show. Yeah. Uh, and they do, they do Nagaichi again. No, no, the, but the rule is that they can't smile. Yeah, which I, which I found really funny. Yeah, it, it, it well, I found it really funny because it reminded me of uh, the Kiyakizaka concerts I went to. <laughs> <laughs> And like, oh my god, this is totally Kiyakizaka concert. <laughs> but I mean, it same that same like no low energy, no smiling. They like are really depressed. Yeah, it, hate doing it's this. It's super fun. It's super funny because it's Nagiichi, right? One of the most hype songs NMB has. Yeah, and even like like the intro part, like Nagisa does. Yeah, is like she's like super like just reading a deadpan robot voice saying, like, "Okay, yeah. everybody, clap your hands. Are you ready to have fun?" <laughs> yeah, Nagiichi. <laughs> And then, so it's, it's yeah. like if you, so I had really good seats, so I, I was able to see each member's uh, expression really well, and like, uh, uh, Sad Haru like basically puts on her cool face, like <laughs> Waka Ball mm-hmm. has like her normal face. Yeah, <laughs> she's not great. She's not exactly great at doing expressions normally, <laughs> and like yeah. apparently one of the staff, to- the director, told her like, "Oh, your expressionless face is really great." <laughs> that's normally how i am right. and then i but i noticed like yuzu had trouble because she was like half smiling yeah i noticed i've uh cut in too yeah yeah it was very surreal but it's like something you'll only see in this play yeah yeah or if you were a kiyakizaka fan <laughs> um, yeah so yeah yeah, so they go see that, and then, like, yeah, I think, I guess, like, the Shingeki people all went and watched that show, and they're like, man, that show sucked. Yeah. They weren't smiling at all. Um, there's that part. And then, I guess, after that show or whatever, like, uh, was it Nagisa, uh, Karen, and Yuzu like, have a meeting with uh, Yoshida. Mm-hmm. And they're basically begging, hey, we can't, let us smile at shows again, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Like, we're tired of doing these, like, kind of boring robotic shows. Let us smile again. He, he says, no, you can't because of the Ahona virus or whatever. And then they decided to, like, quit. Like, well, okay, well, we can't smile. We don't want to be idols anymore. Mm-hmm. And they quit. And then and they run off and they run to the Shinkiki people. Mm-hmm. And then decide to join. Yeah, but I... <laughs> decide, yeah, Batayan invites them to join Shinkigaki. Yeah. And then they do like a... Uh, wait, actually, I, I mean, we missed the part, but I guess also like the three uh, female members of, of uh, Shinkigaki, they were also wanted to go audition for <laughs> NMB. Yeah, that's just a small joke there. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, and then they do like a whole Shinkigaki bit with uh, the the three NMB members. Yeah, you, sure you love this part. This was your part. <laughs> I guess is was this the the Peter Peter crying part? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep. Okay, that's why she keeps t- she's been tweeting like Peter 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 Peter. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she does like the Peter Peter tears. Yeah, they basically were integrated into all the like cl- classic uh, Shinkigaki jokes. Mm-hmm. Like Nagisa works at the takoyaki stand. Uh, Karen is the victim of a scam, and then like Yuzu is one of the scammers who plays guitar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, Nagi- uh, I, guess, I guess this part might be different as well. Like Nagisa is dating um, um, Moromi. Mori. No, that's the same. Moromi san. That's the same. Okay, yeah. And like the reason is like she's able to interpret his speech. <laughs> yeah. And it's like a, the ongoing like joke of that is like he'll say something really long, and then Nagisa's like, "Oh yeah, that was just yes." He says yes. <laughs> and then like he'll say something really short, and then like she'll say, "Oh yeah," he said this really long thing. Yeah. yeah. It's like the the joke for that. Yeah, and then like yeah, the whole joke they do like the weird like weird fake English part. Fake English. If you got oh the oh, th- don't touch my pie. Don't touch yeah, my don't pie. touch my pie. <laughs> yeah, that that's yeah. like a running joke with in Shingeki. With the limbo. Yeah, the limbo, yeah, they do limbo. Limbo and dance. The, yeah. I mean, Ka- Karen's part is really funny too. Did you catch all this stuff? So she like when, so the first part when she comes in like, like uh, 
It's like uh, Tom Tamayo san, the the younger woman says like, oh, there's a situation outside. There's a girl collapsed, and then like, but then the the grandma comes or comes in with Karen, but then Karen is carrying the grandma, <laughs> and then they're yeah, like, okay, oh, this, okay, yeah, this okay, is backwards. <laughs> And then, yeah. like, they, they give water to the grandma. Like, she drinks it. And then, like, Karen's mm-hmm. like, oh, I feel better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. And then, like, the, like, it's like, uh, I, Karen, what's wrong? And then, like, I I needed some money. And I went to these people called the Loan Shark. And they, what, you know what happened? I borrowed money. And they said, you have, I have to pay it back. And then I have to pay interest too. And then she starts crying. And then Batayan is like, that's pretty normal. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like 1 million yen. And now I have to pay like 100 or 1 million and 10,000 yen. Like, yeah. Oh, it's like, oh, that's really cheap interest. And then like, it's like it gets resolved where like, oh yeah, Karen is just paying the money. Yeah. She has the money. And she can I mean, it. it's just Shingeki. There's, the story yeah. is stupid. It's just... It's all stupid. Just, it's all like some like. Just enjoy you know. the jokes. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, and then uh, Yoshida catches on to what they're doing, and then like confronts uh, Nagisa, Karen, and Yuzu. Like, hey, why you guys are in Shigeki, and you're not allowed to be doing Shigeki because you're not allowed to be doing comedy anymore because of a Hona virus. Yeah, and and they're saying the thing is that like, so he in the previous scene when they quit, he said like, oh, you're fired. But then like he says that was just like. I was just saying that to like make you motivated. Like it, I, I can't actually. You're not actually fired until like you sign the contract, whatever. <laughs> so mm. then that's the whole thing about like, oh, you're like Shinki Geki, You're stealing our NMB talents. Okay, yeah. I was thinking there's like some like weird like allusion to like the the old uh, Yoshimoto clause, like non compete clause or whatever. No, uh, not not exactly. But they, they didn't actually quit. Okay. No. Because there was a whole bit where like, oh, like. All three of them do like uh, <laughs> yeah. we want. We, we want to join Shigeki. <laughs> oh, we want to be idols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they always like do like the, like the pattern or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like Nagisa will set it up, and then the, and then Karen right. will say us three one two, and then they all say it at the same time. Yeah. 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 Anyway, yeah, they, they confront each other and fight over trying to bring back the members back into the group. And then, yeah, Batayan steps in and tells, hey, no, if they want to be in Shingeki, they can be in Shingeki. You can't tell them whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, at this point is when the... Well, they do... Is this when the ministers come in, or is it when they do the, the nipple? Yes, or... yes, yes. So, like, basically everyone is here. Almost everyone is here, and... Yeah. Uh, like, she is... It, they, like, start arguing back and forth, and then, like, the... Part of the fighting between Shinigeki and the ministers is the is Suchi, who was the who was the doctor, but you know is now part of Shinigeki because that's what he yeah. actually is, and yeah. comes to like confront because Yoshida is like oh like trying to take back uh, Nagisa and Karen and Yuzu, and it's like hey lay, get your hands off, and then like they start doing the nipple <laughs> the nipple twist thing. Yeah, yeah. Which is a, and, uh, probably the most famous Shinki Keki gag. Yeah, where he, he sticks like the stick in the nipple, and then actually sticks it in his face, and he thinks it stinks. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, they they always do little changes like that. That's how it, yeah. it doesn't get old. What's what's the word for like when they they, they drill it? It's like the shikubi doriru. Uh, it's like shikubi doriru. Is it kusai? Shikubi kusai. Shikubi kusai. Oh, really? Back and forth. Whatever, yeah, it's funny though because like he's like wearing a suit. Yeah, well, I guess it's all like it's Velcro. Or whatever. Yeah, he yeah. just he just tears he it, just off. rips it off. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me. It's like Yakuza, like how like the final boss fights work out. It's like these Yakuza pro, pro show up like in suits and then they rip off the suit jacket and fight uh, no. shirtless. So, <laughs> that was really funny for me. Um, yeah. So you should watch uh, Yuzu and Karin try to hold in their laughter during this. Uh, I, I yeah, actually, I noticed that a lot of times. Like, like uh, Karen looks down. Yeah, when yeah, she's yeah, trying yeah. To hide it, Yuzu turns and Yuzu away. Like, yeah, yeah, and Yuzu turns away. Yeah, and Nikki says they would like you know she can. Yeah, she's a professional, right? So she she can hold her, hold it in. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that part every time. Whenever they were doing that, it was really funny. 
and, and then also <laughs> and also he like goes to after the nipple drill is done he goes to the back and like <laughs> ukawa helps him put his suit back on yeah that's why like, i saw it was like velcro like, I see, like, <laughs> yeah. little, like velcro patches on the the room i was like watching that while the other <laughs> yeah. thing was happening so which is like probably like one of the weird things like you shouldn't be doing on a first viewing, but like that's yeah, you know my my brain works in weird ways. Like, uh, I, like it, I mean, like stuff. the the main action is you. It's like not really. it's cliche, so it, you're not missing yeah. that much. Yeah, exactly. But this is the nice. Yeah. This is the fun thing about plays. You can look at like whoever you want. Yeah, or like with like uh, like movies, also like repeated viewings. You know, you can look at the background instead of the action. Um, yeah. Okay, and then this is when the the ministers come in. Yeah, uh, and then like, uh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they fight, and then Morobi accidentally pushes uh, Batayan right, and he hits yeah, his into head. like the railing. He hits his head. On. Hits his head. <laughs> so then he suddenly on remembers everything, and he remembers yeah. that Yoshida and the minister like conspired to do make up the Ahona virus rumor. Mm-hmm. And then Koldrin's whole, whole point is to like be the like advance the plot by like revealing their secrets, right? Yeah, like her her role was like really like kind of pointless. She, she, whole thing. she's just she's like the she looks very like proper like scary sec- secretary, but like she's yeah like really dumb. Like she spills yeah. their secrets. Like, oh, don't tell them about our secret plot to make up this Ahona virus rumor to like. Re- help nmb and put down shingigeki and then like because if you tell them then our secret will be out and then and then batayans mm-hmm. is like i heard everything you said it's like and then kojin's like look what you did <laughs> they found out they find out and then yeah, this is like where it gets really confusing and how the whole like resolution <laughs> comes I mean, out, it's just kind of dumb it's like the prime minister so like earlier at one point it seemed like the prime minister was like under mind control of the virus minister or something but then now he's like back to normal now that the whole their whole plot is revealed Mm -hmm. uh he's like oh virus minister you're fired secretary you're fired and then he says like sorry yoshida i can't let nmb continue like this like i have to disband nmb then Yoshida is like, oh no no no! Like it was my fault. I came up with this plot. The members have nothing wrong. Did nothing wrong. Uh, and then Batayan comes up with the plan. Like, how about Shinki Geki joins with NMB, um, and uh, we go on tour together to make a brand new show that's like n- never never been seen before. And then this is when the NMB members show up show up with the like red dresses the red dresses yeah and then that's when i was like uh kato and chihi mm-hmm. show up also yeah and even koji <laughs> and koji yeah i'm like wait <laughs> you guys are all members you yeah there's just a stupid plot like you know yeah. they just want to write the members in mm-hmm. it's like uh kato and chihi say like oh we, we wanted to come support you batayan because like they were nursing him at the hospital mm-hmm. and yeah and then actually they acknowledge that uh suchi isn't a doctor either. <laughs> yeah. And is actually a member of yeah, yeah. Shinkieki. I guess while this is all going, there's also this other like subplot going on between Batayan and Uka. Yeah. Uh, where it's usually like uh it's about like the whole like their wedding vow mm-hmm. where like yeah, Batayan's supposed to promise to make her laugh. Um but he forgets and like basically she's like mm-hmm. speaking like in like like vague like riddles or whatever, mm-hmm. like like, Oh yeah, you need to make people laugh. It's like oh, okay, I got the idea. We'll do a tour. Yeah, that's what and that's what kind of drives the plot in the second half of like. Yeah, it's like Batayan thinks like, oh, Uka is saying, oh, there's still somebody I haven't made laugh. Like, oh, the NMB members who have like can't laugh while they're performing. I should bring them into Shinkigeki. Yeah, yeah. And then like, and then Uka comes up again. Like, hey, there's still some. Oh, you made the NMB members laugh, but like, there's still somebody there's else. Still someone else. And then he's like, "Oh right, we need to make all of Japan, you know, yeah, laugh. So, then, so we're gonna have a national tour." Yeah. So then, like Uka, so Uka is the only member, either both NMB and Shinki, who is not in the last musical number. Mm-hmm. So like in the trade off for her having like all this lines and songs in the first half is like not being in that song. Yeah. I mean, the last song is just a. 
that was the i mean it was the plot was written so that they could all perform this together basically get to this point yeah essentially <laughs> it's the ego de show song that they showed a yeah, lot yeah, in yeah. the documentary mm-hmm Yeah, so yeah, then like yeah, they have like almost their national tour or whatever. But yeah, so they perform that song. It's quite long. It's like it, they because they like repeat the song, and then they have like gags in the middle. Yeah, it's pretty fun. This is when you're allowed to take the, your Uchiwa. Uchiwa out. Yeah, in my show, like I guess my area, I guess I, I wasn't like ex- close to the front, but I guess in the front there are more people with like the Uchiwas and stuff yeah. out. But like in my area, I didn't really see that many people oh, really? pull out their Uchiwas. So I was like, I was like wait am i supposed to be doing this <laughs> you know yeah yeah it's okay but so i mean it was the first tokyo show so people probably didn't know that they could even bring uchiwa oh but yeah but they even tell you like they're not part two. Oh, yeah but then like people weren't prepared i don't know i guess so. i mean yeah but yeah, anyway yeah, they do the song they perform in the end and the then uka comes out and it's like okay yeah, you made all japan laugh but there's still one more person yeah who isn't laughing and then he basically, she basically has to like tell him it's me. You have to do the, your your gag or whatever. Yeah, and that, his gag is different every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I don't remember exactly. What yeah, it was, but then Uka but... laughs and they live happily ever after. Yeah, and then yeah, they do like the curtain call. They did like three curtain calls. Yeah, show, so sure. in plays, it's like kind of normal to do what feels like two. So like, uh, last song ends you're everyone's clapping you don't stop clapping yeah. the curtain opens yeah. again the cast comes on one by one bows in their little groups yeah and then like um they do like they went they, they, yeah of. so they went off stage again close the stage and then like you still keep clapping until they come and perform the song like one more time and then the curtain closes yeah, like again the... that's normal that's the normal flow of up this play Okay, um, but then yeah. the first day, the first day, like people did a standing ovation at the end of that song, and then like close the curtain opened again. Yeah, yeah, mine did a standing ovation as well, like during the the song as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause... I was wondering if they were gonna do it because you know Tokyo is lame. But... <laughs> so this is the... but I think actually it was because like it was all the fans over in the front, so I think they probably went to the previous shows and they knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then they set up because like it was like a really it's like the wave. A really slow movie because <laughs> people were like weren't getting up or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think so. The first show I saw, I, do you want to talk about this? Because it gets more into like commentary about like I want to talk about the crowd reaction. Uh, you kind of could, yeah. Like, do a quick, quick, yeah, bit, yeah. So, like, the first show, like, people didn't know they didn't clap during like the NB songs, really. Like, mm. some people did at the beginning, like, at the front. Because we didn't really know what to expect or what to do. Because like at NMB concerts and stuff, you don't normally clap. But then yeah. by the end, by the last Osaka show, everyone, it was like packed house and everyone's clapping along to the songs. So it was great. And then like the, to every song, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, well, like I guess yeah, even the Shingeki songs. Yeah, the Shingeki songs, the solos and stuff, like, they would get like applause. Mm-hmm. You know, after each song, so, I think actually, yeah, is normal. Yeah, for so after in yeah in musicals, that's normal. Yeah, um, the and then yeah, but then like during like the like some certain like songs or whatever, they'll be like, "Hey, clap, clap, clap!" Mm-hmm. Like in rhythm or whatever. Yeah, if it's an upbeat song, you they clap along. Yeah. The yeah, the first show like so. I guess my point was, even though like the audience didn't clap along during the in the very first show in Osaka, they didn't clap along that much during the show. But then, like, people were still, like, so impressed by the end of it that the standing ovation happened naturally. Mm. And all the members, like, you know, tweeted, like, oh, they cried at that and stuff like that. So, it was, it was yeah, that was really cool to be a part of. And then, yeah, I don't think, there probably wasn't standing, there wasn't a standing ovation in the second show I went to. But then uh-huh. there was in the last Osaka show. Yeah, which makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, because I mean, because you know, if you like follow like the like the Twitter accounts or whatever, like they always also do like a picture of like the crowd like during, you know, the song part where everyone has Uchiwas and stuff mm-hmm. out, and then you know, I think they also seen like pictures of them doing like during the standing ovation. Mm-hmm. So, 
some of it I'm not sure if it's like planned or whatever, but but because like you know the fans are like the ones in the front row because you know they like probably got tickets for like the fan clubs mm-hmm. and the pre 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 sale stuff, so they kind of help like lead lead the audience yeah. and what they should do, especially like, if they already went and like saw like previous shows. Yeah. But yeah, like, I went to like I went to like a Thursday afternoon and it was, like so it was like. It wasn't super, it wasn't, I mean, obviously it wasn't sold out, and it was pretty, like, probably, maybe over half fell, maybe. Mm-hmm. Like, there's, like, in my row, there's, like, three people to my left, and then no one to my right, mm-hmm. so I had the whole, like, rest of the st- row to myself, mm-hmm. <laughs> so which is nice. <laughs> um, but, yeah, even then, it was, like, the crowd, like, they were laughing and then kind of receptive and stuff, but, yeah, it was kind of, should be, should, it was kind of, it was kind of weird. should be better on the last show yeah the last show hopefully i'm hoping hoping it'll be better um but yeah okay so i think yeah we kind of could probably wrap this up then yeah is there anything else we missed uh i think that's it i think uh, i understood the story a lot better now <laughs> again like the whole like minister thing was yeah. really confusing they stuff, speak but... really formally and stuff so. yeah really formally and then like they're like two managers at nmb i was trying to like i was confused by that yeah, two prime ministers or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, overall, yeah, I'm not gonna give like super hard impressions, but yeah, overall, hey, recommend the show. Yeah, it's really fun. So yeah, if you you watch the musical and you listen to this podcast, uh, you know, thank you. Um, let us know what you think about the the musical in the next proper episode of Talk Back Party, where we're actually probably going. I guess more, you know, hot take impression stuff that you usually expect from the show. Um, about the musical and yeah that's gonna do it for this uh spoiler cast so thanks for listening